In today's video, I am going to explain a problem from complex integration. Now we have to integrate f of z is equal to x square plus i times of xy from the point a 1 comma 1 to b 2 comma 8 along the straight line ab. See here what is given. So a point is given as 1 comma 1 and b point is given as 2 comma 8. So when you consider this, this is 0, this is 1, so this is 2 and so on. And see here, so this will be 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this might be 8. See here, this is 1. So this is 1 comma 1 and this is 2 comma 8. So, so this is the straight line. So this value, A value is 1 comma 1. Whereas the B point here is, this is 2 comma 8. So we have to evaluate f of z x square plus i times of xy from these points a comma b along the straight line ab so this is a comma b so equation of the straight line so equation of straight line passing through the two points a comma b so a is 1 comma 1 and b is 2 comma 8 is so this value is this is x1 y1 so this value is x1, this is y1, this is x2 and this is y2. The equation formula is nothing but x minus x1 by, see here, y minus y1 by, this is y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. So if I substitute in this formula, see here, y minus what is y1? y1 is 1 by what is y2? This is x minus x1. So this is x minus. What is x1 here? 1 by x2. This is 2 minus 1. So this value is y minus 1 by 7 x minus 1 by 1. So y minus 1 is equal to this is 7x minus 1 and c y value is equal to c 7x minus 7 and c y value is equal to 7x minus 7 plus 1 so y value is equal to 7x minus 6 see here please remember our y value is a 7x minus 6 and now we have to integrate on both sides if we integrate then for y this is dy 7 it's a constant this is dx and c we, now we have to integrate f of z. So for integrating f of z, see from the question we have to integrate. So what is f of z? So f of z is equal to this is x square plus i times of xy. So if I integrate f of z, so integral f of z into dz is nothing but x square plus i times of xy into dz. So we know that z is equal to this is x plus i into y. So what is dz? dz will be dx plus i times of dy. So in place of dz I am going to write dx plus i times of dy. So f of z into dz is equal to this is x square plus i times of xy into what is dz? dz is equal to dx plus i times of dy. So all the values are ready here. So I am going to transform this in terms of x. This is x square plus i times of x into. So what is y here? So I am changing this y in terms of x. So in place of y I am going to write 7x minus 6. So this is 7x minus 6. And see here the next thing is this is dx plus i times of what is dy. So dy, I have to transform this in terms of x. So in place of dy, I am going to write 7 into dx. So this is nothing but 7 into dx. Now everything is in terms of x. So the x limits are here from, see here, what are the x limits? x limits are from, if you observe this, x limits are from 0 to 2, sorry, 1 to 2. So here x varies from 1 to 2. Now I am going to transform this in terms of x. This is 1 to 2. This is x square. If I multiply this one, this is i into this is 7x square minus 
this value is minus 6xi. So this is 6xi into, if I take this one, this is dx plus 7i into dx. So if I take this dx common and see these are uh, x square terms. If I take common, then see this will be 1 to 2. This is 1 plus 7i into x square minus 6xi into this is 1 plus 7i into dx. Now we have to integrate this one. So this is 1 plus 7i. If I take common, then between 1 to 2, this is 1 plus 7i into x square minus 6xi into dx. Now if I integrate this one, so with respect to x, so this is the constant. And see this is 1 plus 7i for x square. So this will be x cube by 3 between the limits 1 to 2 and this is minus 6i into for x the integration is x square by 2 between the limits 1 to 2. So if I substitute upper limit minus lower limit then this will be 1 plus 7i times of this is 1 plus 7i into if I substitute 2 cube. So this is cube. So this value is cube. 2 cube is nothing but 8. So this value is 8 by 3 minus the lower limit is 1 by 3 minus 6i times of. So this is 4 by 2 minus this is 1 by 2. See here the value is 1 plus 7i times of. This is 1 plus 7i into if I take 3 as LCM. This is 7 minus 1. 6i times of see here this will be 3 by 2 and see this is 1 plus 7i times of this is 1 plus 7i into this is a 7 by 3 minus and this value is nothing but 18 so this is 18i by 2 or else I can cancel this so 18i by 2 so which is equal to 9 and see the next step here is 1 plus 7i into this value is 1 plus 7i into 7 by 3 minus 9i. And see now this will be 1 plus 7i times of this is 1 plus 7i times of. So if I multiply this is 7 plus 49i minus if I take 3 as LCM so this will be 27i so this is 1 plus 7i and see this value is 7 20 see here 27 minus 49 minus 27 is nothing but plus 22 plus 22i by 3 therefore the value here is 1 plus 7i into this is 7 plus 22i by 3 and this is how we have to solve and this is the value of the given integral see let me explain you for one time see here we have to integrate f of z x squared plus i, I times of uh, x y from the point a so this is the point a so this is 1 comma 1 and this value is 2 comma 8 so this is the straight line so in this straight line we have to create the equation of the straight line equation so this is the formula y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 so these are the points and after substituting we got the straight line y is equal to 7x minus 6 so if i make a derivative then dy value is 7 into dx so these two values are needed so here f of z is given as uh, x square plus i times of xy so we have to integrate on both sides so what will be dz so z is equal to x plus iy and dz is equal to dx plus i into dy so if i substitute and here see here i transformed each and everything in terms of x therefore the x limits will be see here the x limits are 1 to 2 so if i choose y so it will be 1 to 8 so these are the x limits and I substituted in place of y as 
so in place of y as a 7x minus 6 and in place of dy as a 7 into dx and after transforming everything in terms of x see here so i integrated for x square this is x cube by 3 and for x this is x square by 2 between the limits 1 to 2 see after substituting each and every term and calculating i got the final value as 1 plus 7 i into 7 plus 20 divided by 3 and this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and if you really like you know please practice and definitely share it with your friends thank you so much